Yeah. Well, live from Philadelphia, it's Mr. Pritchard's Art Room. What? No! I'm reading my comic books! I mostly just enjoy the art. What? We gotta go to school? We're still doing homeschooling? Okay. The number you have dialed. What? We got another letter? The number you have dialed. Okay. Let's hear it. Hi, my name is Kaya, and I live really far away. And I've always wanted to go to your art room, but I'm not allowed to. Now that we're all homeschooling, I'm having so much fun with your lessons. I really enjoyed your animal lesson. Hey, do you think in the future you might be able to do something with yarn art? I really like playing with yarn. Well, I hope you're okay, Mr. Pritchard, and tell your students I said hello, and I hope they're well also. You take care, Kaya. I tell you, the last time it was a letter from a lizard, this time a cat. Well, I apologize, Kaya. We're not going to be doing any yarn art. All the yarn's in the classroom, and we're still doing homeschooling. I do have something fun today. I think you're going to enjoy it, everybody, and I sure hope you enjoy it too, Kaya. Let's get started. Well, here we are. We're still home, and we still got to go to school. I hope everybody's doing well, and I hope everyone is safe. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be studying comic books. When we get all done with some of our history of comic books, we're going to make our own comic book panel page. Now with our comic book, we're going to be putting ourselves into it and telling a story about something that has happened to us. First off, we're going to be looking at some history of comic books and some different styles and how to do comic book panels. Oh, comic books. So first off, we have some different covers of comic books from the X-Men to Black Panther all the way up to Wonder Woman and the first appearance of Batgirl. And we're going to finish off with an image of Spider-Man. Now what we're going to be working on is a comic book panel. First off, we're going to talk about the difference between a comic book panel and a splash page. When we're all done, our panel is going to be about a story about ourselves. We're going to be using ourselves as the character. Now our story is going to be something that really happened in our life. Now these covers are the outsides of the comic books. Let's go inside the comic books, starting with a splash page. Here we have an example of a splash page. Now what a splash page is, is it takes up the entire page most likely of a comic book. It's not made up of multiple panels and boxes. It's going to be a gigantic image within the comic book. Most comic books would have maybe one to two of these. Here we have some examples of Wonder Woman, Incredible Hulk, and here's Black Panther. Now again, these splash pages take up the entire page. There might not be a lot of storytelling being told. A regular panel might have five to six panels, and each panel is telling a different part of the story. Let's move on to panels. Now, comic book panels inside of a comic book help to tell a story within several different boxes. Sometimes these boxes are not just rectangles or squares. Sometimes they're interesting shapes, like trapezoids or triangles. These panels are bunched together to form one page. It's interesting when they don't have words because the story has to be told via the art. The way the artist is showing things within these panels to tell the story lets one's mind wonder to figure out what's going on. 
Some of these panels have more than others. This particular one only has a few panels on it to tell the story. It's almost like a half splash page. While this one has several little ones. We got here about six telling a story with Iron Man in it. Let's spend a little bit more time on this last panel. Now when you're working on your panels, they do not have to be rectangular boxes to separate the story. You can make triangles or circle panels if you want also. Now one of the things we're going to have to do in our comic book panel is have no words similar to this Iron Man panel. The story is told just by the characters and what's going on around the characters. These characters seem to be up to no good, have a very secretive feel to them. Alright, first things first. Let's figure out the story for our panel. Now this story has to be realistic and it's our day in our life that we were really happy. Now your story panel does not have to be a hundred different boxes and squares. Most likely I'm going to do eight or ten inside of my page. I'm only going to be doing one page today. If you want to do an entire comic book, that's up to you. I'm also going to just be doing rectangles and squares for my panels. You can use circles, triangles, trapezoid shapes to represent the breakups of your story. Now remember, this story will have no words in the comic book. Everything has to be told by the actions of the characters and what's going on in the panels to tell a story. Now, first thing you're going to have to do is figure out the day you want to make into your comic book. So you're going to have to do some thinking of what day you want to do. I already know what day I'm doing. Now, for me personally, the day I'm going to be representing is the day I got my first guitar and how excited I was. The day started off with confusion because I didn't know exactly what kind of guitar I wanted or I didn't know how to play guitar. But it ended when I found a guitar that I really liked, and I was able to get it. So, first things first, let's figure out what day you're going to represent. Well, I'm going to give you some time to figure out what you want your story panel to be. Oh, that was intense. I hope you got your day. Now remember, we're trying to find a good day in our life, and it doesn't have to necessarily be a great day that something really big happened. It could be something little that made you happy. I have a painting in my art room on the day that I was eating ice cream with my grandfather, and it just made me really, really happy. Let's get started with what supplies we're going to need. Here's what I'm using today as art supplies. I'm going to be drawing with the pen. Um, the only reason I'm not using a pencil today is I just feel like drawing with a pen so it makes my lines a little thicker, but I would recommend using a pencil if you need to erase any extra lines you made. I do not have a ruler. They're all in the classroom, so what I'm using instead is I took a piece of cardboard from a box and it's got a nice smooth line. Now this was just from something from food a food box and I'm going to use that as a straight edge to draw my panel boxes. I have regular lined paper. I like keeping a couple pieces together that way when I draw it pushes through and I can feel my lines on the back. Now another way to get around this not having a ruler, I love when my students use a pencil or a pen as a ruler and they balance their other one on top of it to give themselves a straight line. And that'll work too. Now, I really do not want to fold this paper to make the panels because you know, comic books don't have folds in them like that. They're flat. If you want to make more than one page, go ahead, but I'm only going to make one page today. Now, I already said that the day of my life was the day I got my first guitar. So what I'm grabbing right now is the first thing I did earlier is I practiced. I practiced what I thought the panel should look like, the boxes. Did two of them. Trying to figure out how many I'm going to need to tell the story. And as I said, the story goes that I, originally I went to one store and I was very confused because they had so many guitars and nobody would help me. And the second store my father took me to, the gentleman was super nice 
and they only had a few guitars. And I saw this one guitar that got my attention and knew right away I, I wanted that to be my first guitar and the guitar I wanted to play. And I was able to get it. And from there on then, I've been playing guitar ever since. So that's my day in my life that was very happy to me. Now, well, let's get started with the drawing. Start with my name up here, today's date. Today is the 6th of May. Now I already have my practice ones that I drew very quickly to figure out how many boxes I need. I am making 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A couple are bigger than others because the scene is bigger, such as inside the guitar store I wanted them as bigger boxes. So from the practice I already have an idea how many I need here. So let's get started. I'm going to use that piece of cardboard as a straight edge.
Well, here's the finished product. And I can feel it from the back. It's raised because of the pen. Now my drawings are very sloppy today. Even though it's a realistic story, I was trying to get it done pretty quick. There's a lot of facial features and features in the people missing. And I kind of like this style sometimes in comic books, just quickly done sloppy drawings. And I went with it. Now, for me, my story goes as this. I was really happy my father was taking me out to get my first guitar. And he took me to a few stores. And in the first panel, which I did kind of big box, I'm in the first store and there was a lot of guitars. And it seemed like just a tornado of guitars because they were everywhere. So I drew a lot of wavy lines. Because remember, I'm not putting any talking features within this comic book panel. Everything has to be shown in the panels via the artwork. Well, nobody in the store would help me, so we went on to the next store, which was right here. We went to Modern Music, and this was the entrance to Modern Music. It had two doors and the name of the store up top. When we walked in, the person working there was sitting at a counter. He waved to me and was very kind. Now, instead of him saying, hello here, I just put the waves, so the action is in the drawing. Next to him at his table were effects pedals, which I had no idea what were what they did. I had no idea how guitars work, any of this. Now the biggest difference between modern music and the first store is there was a whole lot less guitars. Not only was this gentleman friendly, what was a big difference, but there was less guitars. It wasn't this tornado. And what happened is one guitar in particular got my attention. And that's what this panel is. I feel like the stars were kind of put in there to show that it got my attention. This was a Fender Telecaster that got my attention. Now, at the time, I had no idea what the name of the guitar was. This panel here, which is a little smaller than the first panel with the guitar there, I made it a little smaller because I wanted the panel with the guitar to be the big part of that day that I was like, wow. Well, this is me with my glasses and my longer hair at the time, and I'm dreaming about playing the guitar with the little music notes. The last two panels... I'm leaving the guitar store carrying the case of the guitar and the little tiny amplifier getting into my father's car. And the last one is me at home playing the guitar ampl amplifier on top of these milk crates and there's the guitar cord and I got the music notes because I'm playing really loud guitar and I was really excited. Now it's okay that certain things go off the panels. Some of these stars aren't complete. Make it interesting. Instead of it just fitting perfectly, even the modern music name, part of the M, has been cut off by the panel. Makes it look a little bit more interesting. Well, I look forward to seeing your happy day in your panel, or possibly you might be doing an entire comic book about this day. Took something out interesting for you today. This is the guitar from the story. This is my first guitar, and I still have it. This guitar is about a 1994 Fender Squire Telecaster, and it's been with me all these years. Got a few scratches and little dings on it, but still a part of my life. I really hope you guys had fun today, and I hope Kaya had fun too. And I hope you're all well and stay safe, and until next time, stay creative.